everyone welcome to my channel i am rajneesh gupta ceo of hex security in this video we are going to learn about threat intelligence imagine gotham city as your neighborhood right and batman as your protector now just like you would want to know any criminal activity brewing in your area batman want to know that as well batman relies on the threat intelligence to keep gotham safe now threat intelligence is like batman's bat signal you know and batman gets all this information about uh, threats related to gotham city from jim gordon you remember the police officer security analysis is the batman here and jim gordon is your threat intelligence platform or sources or service provider now threat intelligence in the cyber security is evidence based information about cyber threats cyber attacks that security experts analyze and organize it can include how to identify an attack the attack mechanism how different types of attack may impact a business and advice on how to defend against attack there are different types of threat intelligence let's learn about them so there are mainly three types of threat intelligence okay the first one is tactical intelligence second is operational intelligence and third is strategic intelligence let's learn about each one of them one by one okay so the first one is your tactical intelligence okay now uh, let's talk about uh, some of the example but before we learn about it remember tactical intelligence is focused on performing the malware analysis and enrichment so this is this is basically a you know a hands on activity on knowing about threat intelligence and these are just piece of information like uh, let me tell you this the first can be a malicious ip address so let's say i have some malicious ip address and i know that this might be impacted uh, might be involved in certain threat activity or some attack campaign so this i can i can possibly blacklist this ip address in my network so that whenever any possible attempt happen it should block those access okay it could be malicious domain right because most of the time the communication happen on domain itself so i if i have those malicious domain i can just install or integrate with all of my devices in the network maybe different antivirus firewall and everything and it would block those access or maybe file hash very specifically malware hash so usually antivirus and all the security solution they maintain a known malware list uh, with their file hash so if we have that file hash we can integrate in our system in our software solution and it will detect that okay next who is actually in batman here okay who is actually involved in consuming these tactical intelligence right so sock analysis the one who works on the ground who is the first line of defense they they consume this information if let's say they come across a malicious or suspected file or maybe uh you know any suspicious ip address or domain name so they can take that copy that ip address or maybe file hash or file sample and upload or submit to any of platforms and get the information about it right that if it is really a, uh, you know infected or not so some of the platform where it is usually integrated it's called sim solution security incident and event management solution like splunk ibm curator and everything okay we can also integrate with firewall solution like palo alto uh, fortinet checkpoint cisco ftd uh, we can integrate them over there edr solution endpoint detection and response solution uh, most of the time adr having the inbuilt capability or they are integrated with platforms like virus total so though if you are not sure uh, virus total is very powerful because with virus total you can simply go and uh, you know uh, you can actually submit any data and you can get to see if the file is suspected malicious or not so this looks like this dashboard of virus total and from here you can submit any ip address and this will uh, this will uh, this will take your ip address or domain name or maybe file hash value and it will scan against hundreds of antivirus system in the back end 
and it will give you the response if it is malicious or not okay so that's that's how it basically works right so um this is uh, this can also be integrated with ips and ids solution as well so these are the tools with which this tactical intelligence is integrated tactical intelligence is more of related to the malware analysis enrichment activity to improve uh, to add more context to your security incident or security alerts all right so this is uh, tactical intelligence this is consumed and handled by security analyst or soc analyst most of the time okay now let's talk about the operational intelligence now operational intelligence is uh, it's basically focused on understanding the uh, attackers capability you know adversarial capabilities uh, maybe their tactics techniques and uh, procedures you know what kind of tools are they using what what do they do uh, what process they follow uh, if you are aware about uh, cyber kill chain method or maybe about uh, a, you know a miter attack framework so in that situation the tactics techniques and intelligence are very well covered and uh, if i can even show you as well so miter attack is ha has got a framework and this looks something like this so in we have uh, reconnaissance resource development initial access persistence so these are all tactics and there are tens of dozens of techniques under each tactics right so this is this is how we collect the ttps the tactics techniques and procedures now this is all done this is all carried out in the operational uh, operational intelligence where you collect information about your specific attackers maybe who focus specially in your industry or maybe in your region maybe in any for any purpose or any intention okay maybe having any political uh, you know motives as well so for example as i said earlier they follow in the operational intelligence people track threat campaigns or the attackers techniques and tactics as well most of the time these are all threat act threat hunters soc analyst also take care of it but if they are into level 2 team or uh, you know specialized team or threat analyst team so there is a different category altogether in the soc as well we call it as threat intel analyst as well so they are the one who are specialized into it then then incident analyst or vulnerability management team as well okay next what are the tools used so as i just said attack navigator these this is the tool you can use yourself search on google attack navigator uh, you can you can self host or there's a website available as well where you can map uh map tactics techniques and uh, tools being used by your attacker and you will understand what techniques to focus first okay so let's say in your industry there are three uh, kind of threat actors or groups who are very much active so you can actually uh, add all of their techniques and then Uh, the one which is overlapping among all the threat actors you can prioritize your uh, you know controls to uh, to defend against those techniques okay now uh, let's talk about the third one which is strategic intelligence now strategic intelligence is focused on understanding the high level threats this is uh, you know maybe adversarial uh, motives and uh, how they are leveraging and uh, different kind of attack weapons and everything so this is engage on the security uh, uh, strategic security level and business decision making process as well so this is this helps the uh, decision maker security management folks on the cxo board level as well All right so as you can see in the example as well it it, it keep a track of high level security trend or threat trend adversarial motives as well uh, this is mostly consumed by cso's chief information security officer cio cto or executive board now the tools which are used in this industry is uh, you know it's not just a tool it's a uh, it's a industry specific subscription we call it as information sharing threat intelligence uh, uh, it's it's in short we call it as isec so there is a different isec 
community for different industry. In United States, especially, we have Auto ISAC, we have FS ISAC for financial services, we have H ISAC for healthcare, uh, healthcare ready, IT ISAC for IT businesses, E ISAC for electricity, real estate ISAC for real estate unit, water ISAC for water or uh, water industry itself. So yeah, so this is you can't really buy this tool. You have to be in this in that industry. You ha you have to get some. Uh, you have to pay some subscription to become a part of that community, and then you will start getting the uh, uh, alerts, notification about what all security trend or threat trend uh, going on in your specific industry and what you should be prepared for. So this is all carried out in this platform. All right. So I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to help you out.